Okay, people, I'm just coming at you with a random makeup video. I'm not going anywhere. Well, I may be going somewhere, but nothing planned, running errands. I'm not working. All the times that you see me come with a makeup video, I have been on my way to work. And this time, I'm off. I was off yesterday. I'm off today, and I'm off tomorrow. Woo! That's how I feel, boo-boo. Okay? Anyway, I just felt like doing a random makeup video and trying out some um, things that I got in my friend mail that I had did a video on. And I had got this, um, this contouring palette that I wanted to try. Uh, who is this by? Uh, Profusion. Okay. And I wanted to try this contouring kit out. And um, I also wanted to try this lip palette out by Perfusion, okay? Um, and here are the colors, okay? Nothing special, okay? I'm just playing in my makeup. And by the way, my hair is done, okay? Yes. <laughs> Woohoo, child. Yes, it's done. It's fixed, okay? Anyway, so we're going to go in with this um, Take Me to Brazil palette because I've been enjoying it now that I know how to use it okay now that I know how to make the colors pop okay and that means I have to this um, uh, LA uh, LA girl pro um, eyeshadow primer now this doesn't have to be the only one they have this stuff uh, by NYX NY, NYX I think they have the milk pencil okay I'm the same equivalents okay and uh, it brings your shadow out so what I'm gonna do is we're going to do a full face, okay, and I'm going to do the eyeshadow, then I'm going to let this camera cool, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to do the foundation contouring with that palette. Um, so, I am just going to do a um, transition color. Let me bring you in, because this is the eyeshadow, and uh, I'm going to, I like to do the transition colors, okay, and we'll do something, um, a little springy so the transition color helps give me a nice clean background there I don't put anything on the uh, the lids except for the actual color that I'm going to apply out of this Brazil palette okay and um, let's pick a color okay you know what I'm going to pick a bright color. What it is, is on um, some of these days, um, not some of these days, on my work days, I use particular colors, okay? And I use particular colors because I noticed that I wear that uh, gray shirt and the black pants, okay? That is our uniform. And we have to wear it every time we work. And some of the colors, like green, the... Um, when I put on um, my work clothes, it just takes away from the, the 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 green. It just brings it down, and it doesn't it doesn't go right. Okay, so I tried to refrain, if I can remember, of using those colors. Looking for a brush. Um, this is just an off-brand brush. I don't know why it's just. Uh, just seems like it has no life like something else is on it okay so yeah so I'm just gonna use that color I've got brushes all over the place and I'm just looking for something okay and we'll just use this brand uh, off-brand brush Jessup brush what is this um, yeah it's a Jessup brush okay and I am going to go in Ooh wee, I could go in with that yellow and that orange. How about, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. See how this pops off. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Now this yellow isn't coming out as bright as it could be. But. I'm just going to go for it. And I am going to um, 
I want to say pile it on, but that's not the word. Build it up. Oh, there it is. I'm going to build it up a little bit more. There we go. Then I'm going to go in with this orange. Where's the... Um, here it is. A towel so I can, yeah, wipe some of this. Then I'm going in with this bright ass orange. Woohoo, look at that. Okay. Whoa. And I'm going to try and build that up. And you see me dabbing and wiping because I don't know which one to do with this color. So I'm trying to do anything that will work. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm liking it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is... Yeah, look at that on the towel, all that orange. Okay, now I'm going to go in on the corners with this um, deeper color orange, excuse me, or should I do it with a red? I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with this red in the, uh, she, excuse me, in the corners and see what that comes out. I just want to, it's not coming out all that. Bring it up a little halfway. That's colorful. It's colorful. I like it. Reminds me of a peacock, but I like it. Okay, so now. Okay, I want to. Um, I'm like, I like it. I want to take it and, um, let's see. We're going to go in with this color, uh, this brush that I still have the uh, transition color on. And I'm going to go up in here in the transition area and see if I can blend this out and see how this works out. Like I said, I'm playing in my makeup. There's no rules. Okay. But um, I like how things are turning out. And that's it. And I am going to put my eyeliner on. Not bad. I like it. Wow. Different. Very different. Okay, so um, let me know how you feel about this. Let me know how you like it or whatever, okay, in your comments, in the comment section down below, okay, because this is definitely something different for me. Uh, for me, I like it though. I like it, but it's different. Okay, people, I'm back. Okay, and we're going to do the foundation part. And just to keep things simple, I am using the NYX Total Control Drops in Golden. Okay. This is what it looks like. And um, if you have not tried um, the Total Control Drops, I advise that you do. I advise that you definitely give this a try if they have your um, your shade. If you feel like it's a good match on your shade, you know, go check it out, you know. And um, I would definitely give this a try. And the reason why I say that is because this is very lightweight. 
on the skin. And I think you'd like it. I really do. And as you see, I'm doing half of my face. Because it's just so easy to do with this foundation. I like how I could just paint it on. I'm just going to leave it like that. And I didn't put any primer on or anything because I'm just playing in my makeup. If I go out or whatever, okay, that's all cool too. I think I dropped some on the floor. Ooh. Careful how you let that stuff dry out, drop off. Get that part first. Real lightweight formula. And even though I'm putting it on like a little heavy, you know, fuller coverage, at least to me I am. It just feels so freaking lightweight. watering I'm going to give you um, a close-up So you can see the coverage. I would definitely give that a medium coverage. Now, let's play with the contour kit. Woo! Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I am going to go in with this banana colored powder, and I am going to set my face with this powder, just because, just because I can do that, okay? I don't know what it's for. Looks like a good banana powder to me. Anyway, so I got a mirror here. Something smells good. Now, this might be a color corrector, but <laughs> hey, okay. Be anything I want it to be. Hey. Okay. Now, we did that. So, now we're going to go in with these um, contour colors. Let me see. Give me a contouring brush. What I've been, oh, I've been using this one. Okay. 
and I'm gonna use this one for my contour because I've been liking the way it um, it shows well I'm killing myself with this rainbow here okay but anyway okay so we're gonna go in now this color is darker we're gonna go in matter of fact okay we're gonna go in with this color okay because I don't know okay we're going in I feel a little awkward holding this thing in my hand so it's adding um, contour which I'm liking And sometimes this stuff, you can't go too dark on this stuff because what happens is that it ends up getting even darker. You know what I'm saying? So then you're kind of like, ooh, I think I went a little too much on there. So, yeah. So it's actually spring and, and you know, and summer that you could actually do a little contour with this. I like it. I'm liking it. I add a little another layer on there. Go a little darker if I want. Yeah. Then I'm going to go around here with the rest that's on the brush. Okay. Then I'm going to take this and go down my nose. With that same color. Not bad, not bad. Now they have the tools to, that I can use, I can actually use this with. They actually have the brushes that I can use for my cheek contour, my nose contour, or whatever I want to use, okay? But, I'm going to save that, okay? So, I think I'm through with that palette, and I'm, I'm liking it. Someone told me they had this palette, and I would like it, and they're right. Yeah. You know what that smile means. You know what that smile means. Okay, so uh, let's go in with some blush. Blush, 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 blush. Okay. Now, this right here is a um, color icon. I used to, I say color recon because it's spelled like one word. But it's actually two words that say color icon. Whatever. But we're going to go uh, use this as a blush. Didn't I just have my... Oh, here it is. And um, just because. Now, you probably noticed that when I do these videos, now I'm spoiled, okay? Because I have everything here and stuff like that, that I no longer have a plan, you know, of the stuff I'm going to use. I think it's coming together okay but this rainbow is just killing me this this colors okay I like it but it's I don't know I don't know eyes is trying to water here mess up my makeup because you know so let's go in with a little highlight okay before this gets I don't want it to get hot so let's uh, do that so we got the blush Oh, my highlighters. I put them in a new location. And I am going to go in with, you know what I'm going to go in with? Mm -mm. I'm going to go in with my golden, uh, my gold attic by Makeup Revolution. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay. Because we're going to go big. Yes. Yeah, we're going to go big. How about that? And my favorite, one of my, these brushes right here are favorite. My love of these type of brushes. The shape on there to do my highlight. Ooh, wee, this a lot. Ooh. 
Oh yeah. Wow. Look at that magic. Woohoo! Is it a lot? Heck yes, it's a lot, you know. Go down the nose. Go across my forehead. Give me that glow. Okay, now one more thing, and the thing is the under eyes, okay? I need to get some kind of color underneath the eyes. So what I'm going to do is... I like to put my stuff back, okay? Um, we're going to go in with an eyebrow pencil. And I'm going to try to do something with these under eyes. Okay. Oh. Not, let us not forget the mascara. Let us not. This right here is the Great Lash by Maybelline. Okay. And if you don't know what brand to get or what uh, mascara you're on the fence, then pick up some... Great Lash by Maybelline, because this is definitely an oldie but goodie. Oh, see, my um, eyeliner is already messing up. And it's probably going to end up coming off the wing part I don't know what up with these eyelashes but they going <laughs> they going all kind of ways okay so let me see if I can put some on the bottom and then hopefully that up Yeah, it look all right. That was here. The Great Lash by Maybelline. Okay, people. Take me to the Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. Pro Contour palette by Perfusion. NYX Total Control Drops in Golden. We got the Wet n Wild color icon blush and this is in the color um sheesh pearlescent pink okay now we're going in with the lips they even have a lip brush oh sheesh this is taped down i'm just gonna leave it alone we'll go in with another lip color and uh i'll open it properly because that was just too much of a struggle right there so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go in with this Smashbox. Um, I don't know what color this is in. Coffee? I think it says, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to go in with a nude lip.
just to give it uh, a gloss. And that's it, people. Let me give you a close-up. And I think this would make a good springtime, summer look. We'll say springtime because summer's not here yet. Okay, so I hope you like this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But most of all, stay blessed. Bye.